What is going on? H2O Army, Justin from H2O Plants here, and today I'm bringing you another daily trim episode. Um, what I wanted to touch on was this is one of my other holding tanks. I don't think you guys have seen it yet in a video if I remember correctly, uh, other than my live streams. So <clears throat> this is one that I hold a lot of the uh, plants that I order from the nurseries. Uh, it's not a, a primary grow tank. I do have a couple stem plants over here in the back, but uh, these are... I'm, going to be taking out soon and putting them in another tank to grow out and leave this primarily for new plants that come in that I'm just going to hold until they're ready to sell and then the uh and that's going to free up some more room once those stem plants are out but today I wanted to talk about another easy plant uh that I feel like not a lot of people know about and that's water sprite so right here is water sprite and it has two variations. There's one with this really fine leaves, like this one. This is called the lace variation. And then there's one with a broader leaf, which this is a puny one right now. A lot of the leaves kind of melted or fell apart on me. But um, it, uh, it has a broader leaf structure. But anyway, this plant is pretty cool because what it does is it's a mixture between kind of like a java fern and a rosette uh, type sword. So what it'll do is uh, new leaves will sprout up from its, uh, basically the root mass or the rosette. Um, it's a little bit different than a sword plant, but it's very similar. And new, new leaves will sprout up and they'll grow up tall. And then from the new leaves, baby plants will actually sprout similar to java fern and the way java fern propagates, it produces little babies off its leaves. So this will actually produce new new uh, plants, and then you could basically just rip that off, plant that, and that'll be a whole new plant. Uh, one thing to note about this plant is it doesn't have a super strong root structure, so a lot of the times it won't stay put, and it'll actually get uprooted, and uh, or it'll just float on its own because it, it's going to be so buoyant, and then it floats, and it's fine to float. It actually makes great cover for fry if you have like a guppy tank or a live bear tank and you need something for fry to hide in works great it can float you could either plant it in the substrate as well um and just overall easy plant doesn't need a whole lot of light i would say like medium to low light is fine uh, but even under low light it would probably still work out just fine for you um and it's super hard to kill like this plant is really hardy from what i've seen so far with it and it uh it soaks up a lot of nutrients it's a good nutrient absorber so if you have a tank that's maybe overstocked a bit or, uh, you know, you just maybe have, like, a, a tank with a ton of uh, waste-producing fish. Um, this is definitely the plant for you. So, guys, uh, leave your comments below for the future daily trim episodes. I'll be sure to answer those. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Later.